This graphic is actually from a PBS, emphasis on BS, special, and just as it states, it claims that three faiths, one God. So the claim is that the Abrahamic faiths, Judaism, Christian, Christianity, and Islam, all worship the same God. And well, where do we come up with such ideas? Well, if you watch the show, you get the basic idea. Uh, you get it from uh, syncretists, ecumenicals. You get it from Jews, Christians, and Muslims who so water down their own theology and that of others that they walk about claiming that, well, by golly, now I know something about their theology as well. And it does turn out we worship the same God. Well, actually, what you learned is what you get when you get a bunch of syncretists, ecumenicals who water down theology so that they can pretend that they learned something about somebody else and now they are in agreement. Now from the Christian perspective it's pretty simple. Don't even bother ask, answering the question as to whether Jews, Christians, and Muslims worship the same God. Simply ask a question to Jews and to Muslims. Here it is. Do you worship Jesus as God incarnate and take it from there. See, that way you allow them to give you the answer. In fact, the Quran specifically states that Trinitarians are hell-bound sinners. Oh, but I thought we worshiped the same God. In fact, it is the Christians who are m more willing and likely to say that Christians and Jews worship the same God. It's just that Jews worship God under an incomplete revelation which is completely revealed within the New Testament. So we should not seek to do this coexist thing by uh, watering down our theology and by pretending that we believe in things that we do not. The only way to really coexist is just to lay our cards on the table, be completely honest with each other, and put our theology out forthright in what it actually has historically stated. So uh, let me give you a little anecdote. Me and a buddy were having meetings at the Islamic Center, meaning we were specifically scheduling times to go and speak to the Imam. We were told to go on a certain date and time, and when we arrived and asked to speak to him, they said, oh, well, we're about to have our services. So stay for the service, and then you can have your discussion. So they obviously scheduled us to show up so that we would have to sit through their service, unless we felt like leaving, and so that we would have to hear what they had to say. And it just so happens, don't you know, that that day they were teaching on the sin of shirk, which is the worst possible sin you can commit in Islam, which is to associate anything with Allah. So, for instance, the Trinity falls under the label of shirk. And so that is, according to Islam, according to the Quran itself, that is a sin that will get you cast into hell. The Quran specifically states that. Now, I was actually extremely appreciative of this fact. Even though they obviously manipulated us, I was very appreciative that it seemed to me that their motivation was, we want these guys to hear the truth. From their perspective, we were hellbound sinners and they wanted to make sure that we heard the message that that was the case. And that's something I really appreciate. I mean, I happen to think they're absolutely wrong, but I thought it was uh, in a, done in a very loving manner, even though if underhanded that they wanted to make sure that they uh, preach their message to us, which, that, which is that we are in error and they have the true revelation. It's not that difficult, folks. Why wouldn't I appreciate that? That's what I try to do, that's what I expect them to do, and then the discussion can go from there, from actual truth and from actual facts and from actual historically verifiable. Okay, that came off as kind of offensive. Thank you.